What's up, Ian Preston? What's up, everybody? Ian Preston reviews fans. It's Ian Preston here, back with another Loud House. I mean, sorry, that's wrong one. Let me try this again. What's up, everybody? It's Ian Preston here on the second YouTube channel, Ian Preston reviews. And today I'm gonna be reviewing the A Loud House Christmas um, from that the original Nickelodeon film, A Loud House Christmas. It was a live action, live action Loud House, um, Loud House movie. Um, Directed by Jonathan Judge, and um, the whole thing was kind of like based off of the original TV show, The Loud House, the cartoon Nickelodeon Loud House TV show, and um, it's all in live action. It all starts out with Lincoln's family, you know, getting ready for Christmas and all, and he has a big plan. He ordered a big old sled, a thirteen people sled, so they can go sledding down the, sledding down the, sledding down the the hill when it snows. Hopefully, he's hoping. It would snow, and all, he's greeting all of his sisters and all, and and all that, and his parents, and um, excuse me, and they get a FaceTime call from Lori, saying that she's gonna be closer to Bobby. She's gonna visit Bobby for Christmas, and she's not coming home for Christmas because she's got a lot of exams and all that stuff. And then um, Luna said she's gonna be skiing with Sam, and Luann's gonna be doing a doing something at um, hang on a sec. Camera's level. There we go. Um, Luna's gonna be. I mean, Luann's gonna be going to. Um, what's she gonna be doing? I can't remember. Um, she was gonna be um, going to um, the the Sunset Canyon to like perform for the elderly, and then they eventually everybody and then they eventually decide to go to Florida, Miami, Florida. And I like how Lynn said, like how Lynn said that she's gonna be um, <laughs> wanting the Miami Dolphins to play. I wonder if. They're gonna be. I don't think they're gonna be playing on Christmas though. I wonder, she must be a big Miami Dolphins fan. I am too. I'm a big NFL fan. And then Lincoln tells Clyde that he, because Clyde's about to visit Santa with his dads, and then he's about to like um, visit. I mean, I mean, he's about to tell him. And I could see Reiningers in the background of the mall. And then all of a sudden, um, all of a sudden he um, contacts Clyde. I mean, on the walkie-talkie. I mean, Lincoln contacts Clyde on the walkie-talkie, and then they make plans to, like thwart everybody's plans and um, to um, do it. And he makes it a long, a long name for the observ for the observation or something. And he says, "In for a shorter name for this observation is a go." And then first they thwart plans like saying Mc McSwagger's coming to coming to Royal Woods and Luna t breaks this to Sam. I like seeing Sam in real life. She looks really good in real life. And um, they thwart, um, they pretend to be elderlies, um, Lincoln and Clyde do, at, at Sunset Canyon to thwart um, Luann's plans and Pop Pop and um, Clyde's um, Nana is there. And then um, they like cause pranks to happen there and all that jazz. And you know, elderlies decide Side to fire Luann, and so, so yeah, Scoots' his idea, and then, um, they make up a big old fake alligator shark thingy to, like, and they steal Tanya, and then Lenny's like, where's Tanya? Because I know how much she loves Tanya. Um, they pretend to make Tanya a person getting attacked by a shark, like in the movie Jaws or something, and they hide it in the forest, and then Catherine Mulligan, um, talks about it on the news, and then... They decide not to go to Miami, and then Lisa makes, like, this spray thingy and sprays it on their dad, and then he starts going, <laughs> But other than that, yeah, that's what that's what happens. And other than that, um, excuse me, um, other than that, um, Lori is coming home, and she gets, she gets a package from Lincoln, and she decides to come home, and she gets emotional, and then Bobby comes to pick her up, and he's, like, getting stuff from the Mercado and all, and he drives his motorcycle, and they run out of gas, and they get stranded, and then, um, Lincoln and Clyde, next morning, Lincoln sees that all the louds are all sad, and then they learn that the, that, that the, that the, the monster that Lincoln and Clyde made is in Royal Woods, and then they decide to cancel Christmas, and which makes Lily sad, because she was going to light the tree on, Christmas Eve, which was sad, and other than that, yeah, it made me sad seeing this. Then all of a sudden, um, Lincoln tries to call Catherine Mulligan, but she refuses to believe because she thinks some kid pulling a phone prank phone call or something, a prank phone call or something like that. But other than that, 
Link get, Lincoln decides to get it, and then Clyde decides to volunteer to help out. And then Lisa invents a thing to destroy the monster because looks like she used a Nerf gun or something or something. And she goes, it's go time. And then they get on the news because Rip Hardcore starts chasing after them. And then Lisa, um, I mean, Rita, Miss Mrs. Loud, picks up the Lori and Bobby and turns out he had food because he said that he was going to he was gonna deliver it for his abuela and he said she would kill her if he didn't. Anyway, and then Lisa eventually hops in the car and then they all meet up at the mall when all of a sudden Lincoln and Clyde pedal it all to the mall. It starts going through the mall, screwing everything. It even destroys um, the Loud's Christmas tree, Christmas lights and all that and everything looks all messy in the kitchen after Lynn Loud Sr. going all <laughs> Thanks to Lisa's spray thingy. And then all of a sudden, everybody on the Royal Woods is watching this and all of a sudden, um, excuse me, He's t Clyde tells Santa what he wants for Christmas, and then all of a sudden when it crashes into Santa's place, and then Clyde's like, I should get going now. And then the next thing you know, um, yeah, um, they found out that it was Lincoln, and then, and now, now Santa and Clyde's dads are frowning at him, and he's like, I do got a lot of explaining to do. And then explains, m Lincoln explains the whole thing to his family about this and all and all that and Lenny's happy that Tanya's okay even though she sadly got fired I'm sure she'll get rehired because Lincoln tells the whole thing to everybody I think Catherine Mulgan filmed this too and all that but they were actually not mad at all actually how he thwarted the plans and all and because how he why he wanted to be with his family for Christmas and all that and he had the whole thing planned out and then they said, that the parents said they weren't mad because they know how hard it was for their kids to grow up and it was hard to like not, even though they'd be separated and all like this. And that's when I burst into tears when they all hugged and they all forgave Lincoln and everybody was happy. And other than that, um, Lily lit the tree, Catherine Mulligan told the whole thing to the Railwoods and then they lit, they lit the tree. They did a rockin' show on Christmas and then they were dancing around the tree that night, which was awesome. And then the next morning they... They open, they open their, they open their, they opened up their presents. They had pop up over, and other than that, Lisa's um, science thingy worked to make it have a white Christmas. They had a, and they even fixed the sled too, because earlier it was broken, and then it was fixed. It was fixed because apparently their parents said they chipped in and fixed it, and Sledzilla is what it was called. And I liked how earlier how um, Clyde um, um, um like. Um, mentions um, Jaws live and Wonder Woman live or something like that, which was really nice. That was good references. And other than that, I liked how Rip Hardcore chased after it looked like a Vietnam film when he was spying in the bushes that night. But other than that, um, it was. And then you know what? You know what? Luna got to go sledding with Sam, and Luann got to go do some giggling stuff with the at the Sunset Canyon and I think Lenny got her job back and Tanya back and Lori was gonna go back to college and they were gonna be going to Miami and they got to I guess they were gonna spend New Year's down there. <laughs> and then other than that, um other than that, um excuse me, um this also um other than that, this was a great movie. I liked how they're all having a snowball fight, having a blast. And then at the end they're like sledding down the hill and it was a great movie, and then at the end it shows a picture of them, and it says, of them on the sled, and it says, Merry Christmas from the Loud House. That was, it, it beats the Loud House movie, actually. This Loud House Christmas beat the Loud House movie, in my opinion. I rated it an 11 out of 10. This made me happy. I was laughing, crying, and I was kind of on the edge of my seat, too, when I was watching this. This was a great, I highly recommend it for anybody that's a Loud House fan, and yeah, Thank you guys for watching, and I rate this episode 11 out of 10. I mean, this movie at 11 out of 10, and it was just so great. It made me all happy, and it made my day, and it made me laugh, cry, made me on the edge of my seat. Yes, I was crying, and I'm sorry if you guys didn't... If you, this, is, this is a spoiler movie, spoiler video, spoiler review video, by the way. But anyway, it'll be in the description, and it'll be in the title, spoilers. So yeah, when you see the title, yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, when you see the title, it'll be spoilers. But other than that, and I'll even put in the description, exit this video now if you w haven't watched this movie yet. But other than that, I loved it. It was great. I'm wearing my Coyote shirt. 
But anyway, also, I got something else to show you guys. Okay, guys, um, check it out. I got this for my birthday yesterday. It's a Loud House hoodie. Um, yeah, drop a like if you think it's really cool, because I think it's really cool. I actually asked for it for my birthday. Um, my parents got it for me for my birthday, and I think it really suits me and all, and I, I, really, I really like it. And other than that, other than that, yeah, and I just wanted to wear it for this video and show you guys. But other than that, I just also wanted to say shout out to Jonathan Judge, by the way, the director of this of the of a Loud House Christmas, the live action Loud House movie. Bro, I got to tell you, great job, by the way, making this movie. Good job directing it, and thank you for an awesome live action Loud House movie. Thank you so much, Jonathan Judge. Special thanks to Jonathan Judge. This movie had me laughing, crying, and being on the edge of my seat, and being with exhilaration. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. L Loud crowd, like and subscribe for more videos, reaction videos, as always. I mean, <laughs> this is that's my that's my other YouTube channel. What I mean, what I meant was thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more reviews and more reactions and reaction slash reviews and all that. Turn on post notifications that we be notified right when a video does come out. And check out all my other YouTube channels, like, just search them, like, Ian Preston, Ian Preston Reviews, um, Live Action Loud House, Lori Clues and You, Lenny Loud the Explorer, Loud House Tales, and all that jazz. But other than that, those channels were made because someone suggest just suggested me to do it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Ian Preston, out. Peace out. Love you all. And thank you guys for watching. And this really put a smile to my face. And thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Love you all.